It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we're going to be looking at a resource guide for world domination. Now this is going to be going over how to get cans, brains, crates, and DNA. And now guys, all of these tips and tricks can be used on either survivors or zombies. I'm going to be doing most of my video on the survivors side here, but either way it can be worked. All these tips and tricks will work on either side of the game. So right now let's go over the how to get brains and cans and what they're used for. So the main use for those brains and cans are going to be for the skills upgrades as well as competing in the faction wars and the guild raids. So if you see right here, if you go into the research area right here, you're going to be in order to upgrade my flare, I'm going to have to spend a thousand cans. So that's pretty much where a lot of your cans can go. Right now I'm upgrading my stim Z here. It's going to take about two days and 19 hours. Long time, guys. Going to be a while till we see what happens with that. But the other way or use for these cans is guild raids. So right now I have a guild raid going on in LA and in order to attack it, this is going to cost me 655 cans. So it's pretty steep, but you get a pretty interesting reward, which will be the crates, but we'll go into that in just a second. Now, you may be wondering, how do I get more of the brains or the cans? Now, the easiest way is going to be attacking in the campaign or attacking various cities. Now, the cities is going to be your best source for farming cans and things like that. So for my personal favorite, for my higher level survivor account, I love attacking Mexico City. Uh, I like doing that on expert, but that's pretty high level stuff, guys. So on this account here, I have 40,000 cans right now, and I've been spending a bulk of, and I'm getting, I'm getting a bulk of those just from attacking in the campaign. So when you're really early on, just attacking in the campaign will be a great source for cans. Now, say you've already beat the campaign, then you can just kind of pick your favorite city, whatever you have the most success with. A lot of these earlier rounds are really great for farming and different things like that, getting a great source of cans and whatnot. And I mean, it's really up to you which city. I think um, any of these from Lima and back will be very perfect. I mean. I definitely go through this with your top team, some of these other higher level cities first, and then kind of go from there, kind of bring it down a little bit. But I mean, as you lose stamina and you guys got to cool down and kind of recharge and whatnot, I definitely go into your level one troops and whatnot and go chill out on like, say San Francisco and just get a couple cans here and there, but it's still farming. It kind of keeps you going. Wait till your other team regens and then go back out there and keep getting more cans. Now that's pretty much the basic stuff for the cans and the brains and whatnot. Now, I think that the most important one here is the crates. Now, crates are used for upgrades. These are for upgrading your troops and whatnot. And I think this is pretty darn important because, I mean, who wouldn't want to just start working on upgrading their troops, get a better team, more power, more damage, more health, more success against the zombies or the survivors. So as you can see, to upgrade or start training my troops, it's going to cost me 570 crates to upgrade Captain Zeta. Now, those prices will go up as you get to a higher level for your troop. However, right now, pretty cheap, nothing too bad. So right now I have 2,400 crates and whatnot. And you may be wondering, how in the world do I get more crates? Because I want to upgrade my team and things like that. Well, those main sources you're going to want is to check out the, say, guild raids. The guild raids are great. You invest about 600 cans, but you're getting a solid return of about eh, about 400 crates, maybe about 200. I mean, you're getting a lot of, you're getting some a pretty good amount of crates here, about 240, possibly 400, 500, and it's great return and it's just a great source for crates if you want to start working on upgrading your troops. Now, another one is the Faction Wars. Faction Wars are one of my personal favorites in getting a ton of crates. Now, right now, it's an hour and 46 minutes away here, but I mean, yeah, can't go into it yet. But it's a great, great source. So really, their core sources for crates are going to be the Guild Raids and the Faction Wars. And then PvP gets you a good amount of crates here. It gives you a couple crates and it gives you a couple cans. So you're pretty much getting a little bit of a mix of both worlds there. So those are pretty much your core, core places for farming crates. Now, you can also get a great source of crates by simply going over to your all units here. You have, you'll you have a ton of extra units. Now, I just got rid of a bunch of mine. I'm down at 83, but say I want to get rid of some more. So as you can see, I have a ton of random common units that I don't even need. So say we can just go here, click disband, and we'll get 50 crates per disbandment. So I'm going to get rid of four of them here. And that's going to instantly give me 200 crates. It's easy. And as they get up in a higher level, so say I wanted to disband a uncommon troop. So that would give me 150. And then say we're going up to the rare here. That's going to be 500. And then epic 1,500 crates per disbandment. And of course, you'd expect as you upgrade them, that it's going to be worth more. Of course, 2250 here. <clears throat> for disbandment and it just goes up you can't disband captain zeta but say i want to get rid of my trooper 1500 so the higher level the higher sort of tier of rarity that will increase the disbandment 
sort of return you could say now it's not really worth disbanding your higher level troops honestly like i would not recommend that but just getting rid of those so tiny guys who you don't really need anymore is a great source so those are pretty much your core sources for crates and things like that and as well farming and different things for the cans as well so guys those are pretty much your things for that so coins coins are very it's tough to come by now in the campaign you're gonna get a couple random drops of coins so right now i'm in dakar here and right here on day eight i'll be getting 25 coins those are where you're gonna get most of your coin drops but after your campaign, you're wondering, am I going to get any more coin drops and things like that? And that is a definite yes. So I believe in faction wars, if you get to a certain sort of level or a certain rank in the faction wars, or even PvP, you will get a, rent, a coin drop. Not sure how much, but you'll get some coins. And I know that when I've attacked random cities before, when I was just trying to farm up cans, I actually got a random drop of coins. So very random hard to just specifically come by guys but they will arrive slowly but surely i mean but the main way you're gonna have to get coins is just buying them quite frankly guys i mean that's pretty much the core source of them and all but that's pretty much the resource guide i have for you guys today i hope you really enjoyed i hope you took something from this i hope i helped in some way for some of you guys who may be struggling with resources and if you have any more questions make sure to go ahead and drop them in the comment section i'd be happy to answer them for you guys if you have any more just you just need them. You just need them answered. I'd be happy to answer them for you guys. I'd love to help you guys out. If I didn't answer your question in this video, I'll be kind of chilling in the comments section waiting for you guys. But as always, if you like the video, go ahead and swipe a like on it. Give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed already, guys, what you're missing out here. Join the nation. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe, guys. But thank you so much as always for watching. And I will see y'all in the next episode. See you guys.